Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to season a cast iron skillet with avocado oil. Now, what I have here, I have a number eight lodge, three notch lodge cast iron skillet that I've taken out of the uh, lye tank. So what we're going to do, we're just going to give this thing a good little scrub of soap and water and uh, get it cleaned up and ready to go. Now, in my opinion, you know, avocado oil may be the best oil for seasoning cast iron. And now the reason why I say that is because of the high smoke point that avocado oil has. And uh, avocado oil basically has a smoke point of 520 degrees. And what that means is you can heat your oil up to uh, that area before it starts to smoke or starts to burn. So that gives us a, a very good base coat for cast iron when you use avocado oil. Now a lot of, uh, you know, people use different things and I do too, but I'm just uh, of the mindset that avocado oil may be one of the very best oils to season cast iron. So now that we've got this washed and cleaned up, got all the uh, lye from the lye tank out of here, got it neutralized with water. I mean, some people neutralize it with uh, vinegar, and uh, you can easily do that for sure, but uh, water will neutralize your, your lye too. So, And then I'm just going to show you basically what I do as far as seasoning is just pour a little bit in here and you could use a paper towel if you like but I, I like to rub mine in with my hand and I can kind of feel if there's any perfection imperfections in the cast iron skillet you certainly want to get it all over I mean every little inch nook and cranny all these pore spouts the edges and everything and get it seasoned or get it oiled down real well and uh, of course we've got some excess here and we're going to deal with that in just a minute but as you can see this is a an old three lot three notch lodge it's got a heat ring here that has three notches in it and uh, so that's for heat distribution this is going to be this is a uh, a skillet that i picked up at a uh, flea market and uh, i've been wanting to restore this and re-season it best way to do that when you pick one up like that and I and I generally want to re-strip them strip them down and re-season them when I buy anything from a yard sale or or a flea market and just because I don't know you know where that skillet's been and uh, I can strip it down sometimes they're carboned up so bad that you can't even see any numbers or, or lettering you know on the bottom now once you get your cast iron skillet seasoned like this or oiled down what you want to do is be sure and wipe off any excess you don't want any uh, oil buildup on your skillet because that uh, will cause problems as you're baking it so you certainly don't want to do that and uh, what it will do it'll make your cast iron sticky and it can make it splotchy you've seen cast iron it has you know splotchy looks to it and everything and uh, that's the reason why it's too much oil so now that we've got this skillet oil down my next step is to take it over to the oven and I've got my oven preheated at 450 degrees so what we're going to do we're going to take this skillet and we're going to lay it in the oven upside down on the top rack and then I've got a uh, oven pan underneath the bottom to catch any excess oil that may drip off from it and the reason why you do that you want to turn these upside down and that way it'll let all the oil drip down on its sides and be sure and coat it real well too so we're going to go ahead and get this in the oven and uh, bake this off at 450 degrees which is a little less than the smoke point on this but 450 degrees is a is a great temperature to season cast iron with 
And so we're gonna get it in there and bake it for one hour. All right, well, it's been an hour in the oven and I actually let it cool down for an hour. It's still just a little warm to the touch, but that's one coat right there. And so I'm gonna get ready and oil this thing down one more time. Well, actually two more times and bake it off two more times. And that way I'll have three coats of avocado oil on here. But I think it's gonna turn out just fine. I mean, this old skillet has been around for a long time. Like I said, I picked this up at a, a, a flea market, number eight, uh, three notch lodge, uh, made in the USA. So it was actually, uh, this one's uh, made after 1960. So anyway, I'm gonna get ready and go ahead and put uh, another coat of oil, another coat of avocado oil on this and uh, get it back in the oven and bake it off for the second time. I'll do it for a third time and then I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Well, it got laid on me and I had to finish this uh, the next day, but uh, I think it turned out pretty good. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below uh, what you think about this avocado oil uh, on cast iron. I mean, it's not 100% perfect, you know, uh, with just about three coats on it. so. We're gonna to have to use it, and uh, the more you use it, the better your seasoning will get. And, but you know, for this old three notch lodge, I'm pretty pleased with it, you know. It's, uh, it's uh, come a long way from where, uh, when I picked it up from a flea market. So anyway, I just really think that avocado oil is a pretty good oil myself. So you guys uh, check out this video right here, or right here, and we'll see you over there because it was made specifically for you. You guys have a great day now. It's Mike over here at Mr. Cast Iron.